Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke, your host for the fourth Friday of every month, talking about business success and all the things you need to do to have a great business here in Las Vegas. I'm back with all of my guests. We're doing our panel discussion. Casey J from KCJ Photo and Anna Aberly and Rachel West from Aberly West Marketing and Design. And what's great about this, this is the first time we've ever really had a theme for our show because all of these businesses that are here today are about visuals and graphics and branding through visuals and graphics. And I want to I want to ask all of you, all of your businesses are based on image and the ideas and emotions that images convey. Why do you think that these images are so important to marketing a business, branding a business, and doing business, especially here in Las Vegas? Because you got to stand out. Yeah. You got to stand out, whether it's mm -hmm. visually or making a bold type. You gotta ma make a statement to even be heard here in Las Vegas. And how are you wanting your audience to perceive you? Yeah. And are they perceiving it in the right way? Yep. Mm -hmm. And to be professional and consistent. So if you don't have professional imagery, if you don't have a professional logo, you're not showing up how you should for your ideal client. Yep. Yeah. So professional is an interesting word because there are a lot of very successful businesses that that they're imagery and branding uh, is almost on purpose to decided to be amateur and what what do you think of businesses that do that can you give me an example because i'm not i'm not following um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think uh you know and and, and my point is, is is it's usually very deliberate mm -hmm. that they're uh kind of like know, retro or like half price lawyers like half price lawyers is a really great idea. If you're not from Las Vegas, you don't you don't know what this is, but there's big billboards all over town for half price lawyers. Um, and, and I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, it's it's very cartoony and it 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 doesn't look like a lot has been put into it. They do have a really, really, really annoying and get stuck in your head quickly jingle because now it's stuck in my head just because you guys said it. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a jingle. Are they yep. are they like out on TV and I know their that? phone number, let's just say that. <laughs> So clear. So clearly, uh, as we're getting through this theme, um, whether whether you are very slick and produced, and in some cases, in some cases, people might say overproduced, or you look like it's kind of amateur and thrown together, depending on depending on what your brand is, right. that can be really effective since clearly you know this number. Yep. And, and their branding is good. Now most of us, myself included, don't have the talented eye that you all have for graphics and images. What can business owners do to prepare themselves to work with a graphic designer or a photographer to help put their business in the best light? What do they need to come to you with? And we talked a little bit about this for you guys in the last segment, but, but what do they really need to come to you with uh, in order to be ready to work with you so that you can help them most effectively? I think what helps most is to have a really clear vision of what they want their business to represent and where they want their business to go and who their ideal client is. Okay. So when they have that, we can come together with a series of ideas on marketing and branding strategies that will help them win instead of us sitting down and having a conversation to define those three things when we're supposed to be defining how we can help them with their imagery. I totally agree with you. I couldn't have said it better than myself. <laughs> now what? Now, 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 let's say a business owner, because uh, business owners have a lot of things they're thinking about. They're thinking about how you know getting out there and networking. They're thinking about bringing that revenue in. And again, not everybody is that that visually minded or that emotionally minded type. But that's really what I want to dig into: is how do you how do you as uh, imagery people help? help business owners who don't have that eye, they don't necessarily have that sense of aesthetic or that sense of really who they are and what they're all about. How can you how can you help them bring that out? So by asking them just a series of questions, where who are you trying to market to? Okay, so half price lawyers, who do you think they're marketing to? They're marketing to maybe a lower class income families that can't afford a full lawyer that to me that would be more appealing. Oh my God. Uh, I'm going to call half price lawyers. Yeah. So who are they trying to market to? Because if they want to do high end business, you wouldn't go to half price lawyers to do deal with your CEO. You right. So so <laughs> so before the internet gets all mad at me about this, because I know they're gonna be. I just want everyone to know I didn't bring up half price lawyers, and it's I didn't so say any of this stuff. So <laughs> so send your cards and letters. If, do people still do that? Do they yeah, send sure, cards I'm and sure. letters? Send them to Anna. <laughs> Closure. So, so, but just <laughs> calm down, internet. It's gonna be okay, all right? Some are down now. So, yeah. So, um, so, um, and then you do that in a little bit different way with the photography, mm -hmm. right? You, so, how do you, you guys approach it through mm -hmm. a, a very much a, 
um, I don't want to call it a, a discovery process. What is your business about? Who are your ideal clients? That kind of thing. But you go about that in a little bit different way with your clients, right? I, I do. Um, I, I, I do ask them a series of questions to get to know who they are and what they want to accomplish. Uh, but also I have them bring in a vision board or a mood board. So um, Pinterest is really, really, really handy for putting together a series of things that they either like or the images. A lot of times my clients won't know what they like about the image, but if they have a series of images that they can show me that they like all of these images, I can pull common themes to show them that this is what they like about this image, this is what they like about this image. It visually tells me a story without having them to tell me a story. So um, it's easier for me to get uh, visual clues out of that and discern what they would, the, the mood or the type of photography they like. Okay, is there, is there an example you can give us? Since you asked me for an example, I'm gonna ask you for Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Do you have a story you can share with us about one of these plants? Hot potato, got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, definitely. Um, so I had a, actually this week I am doing a senior photography shoot. And the girl is a senior in high school. She's gonna be graduating, going mm -hmm. to college in Florida. And her mom was suggesting a bunch of different ideas for her shoot. She was sitting over here going, ah. And she was going, God, Mom. Right. <laughs> Shut up. So I, she was a little bit shy. She was a little bit, it felt like an intervention, kind of, like everybody was like mm -hmm. talking at her. So I was like, hey, I know you like Photoshop. I know you like fantasy images. Like, is there a way that you could just send me some images on Pinterest that you mm -hmm. like, that you might want to, like ideas you might want to play with? So when I looked at her Pinterest board, it was absolutely completely opposite of what everybody had come up with before. She wanted to do something very pinup-y themed and okay. every single thing in her images was in nature. So everything was surrounded by greenery. So the only way I would have ever been able to discern that would have been through those images because that's what she wants to portray. If I asked her where she would want to shoot in town, she'd go, uh, downtown's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, but by seeing all of the greenery in her images, I figured out I need to take her someplace where I can have that same effect. And and this is this is the reason you want to bring in pros when it comes to graphic design, when it comes to photography, when you're doing your branding imagery, because especially guys like me, we don't always know what it is we're trying to say, what it is we're trying to get across. We want so you know if you if you're if you're really sure, you're going to speed the process up. But if you're not, or you just have kind of have some ideas, or in a lot of cases, business owners don't have any ideas. Just like I. I want to do this business, but I don't. I don't know what I want to do. I don't I know what I want help. to look like. Right. I just need help. These are your girls. Holler at your girls, and they'll, <laughs> they'll help you out. So, uh, nobody does business alone. Even if you are the only person work, if you're a sole proprietor and the only person working your business, nobody does business alone. You guys are in a partnership. And we talked a little bit about that, but tell us a little bit about how you've built a team around you, what you've learned about building a team around you with your business, and, and who are the people you've brought in on your team to help your businesses out? Do you guys have a team? <laughs> um, we, we grow through networking. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of networking throughout town and um, get connections through that, and, and everybody that we've met is very supportive in help, helping us grow as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys outsource anything? Yes, we do. See? Yeah. So who was the first person that you guys brought on to your team? Like, who was the first person that you guys hired in your team? Like, to outsource something. So we outsource our printing. See? So there we do it locally through uh, Las Vegas just because it makes it nice and easy for a client to get their stuff now. Absolutely. Versus waiting four to five days. Mm -hmm. So this way it kind of helps our client if they're in a crunch to be able to rely on us to be able to help them with the printing. So. Mm -hmm. And we use the local printer print solutions here in Las Vegas. Okay. And we have a really good relationship with them. So, okay. And who's on your team? Um, I don't have a team per se. Uh, I haven't really outsourced anything. I kind of still wear all of my hats. Um, I am looking at hiring a bookkeeper and figuring out somebody to outsource some of my edits to. Okay. I have not passed that torch yet. Well, if you are a bookkeeper or a photo <laughs> editor. That girl. I hope you enjoyed asking them a question too. That's the last question you're going to get to ask. I this is my show. I ask the questions here. Okay, good. So. <laughs> She's like, thank God. All right, so so it's springtime in Las Vegas. It's actually a gorgeous day here. We've we've had a lot of craziness with our weather here, but it's a gorgeous day here in Las Vegas. Um, what are the must do or must see things people need to do in springtime in Las Vegas? 
definitely check out Lake Las Vegas with all of their um, mm -hmm. activities over on the lake. They have the little like rocket propelled things you can do above the water where you're kind of like floating. They have a bunch of different things you can do um, on the lake, like the little stand up paddleboard thing. I don't know what's called. Um, it's called paddleboard. Is it? <laughs> so. Like a stand up thing. I don't know. No, I was like, no, I don't know it's what called that paddleboard. is. Paddleboard. Uh, you can rent canoes. You can do dragon boating. Yeah, this is the weather also for hiking mm -hmm. or camping, if any of you guys are outdoors. Yeah, it's actually the perfect time of year. I know, it's, uh, I was it's like... It's not going to be too cold at night, but it's not going to be too hot yes. during the day. Yep. You, got, you, got like, you got like three days of this Las Vegas, so enjoy go enjoy it, it right? Yep. Before it gets too hot now. So. Yeah, my boyfriend's going out camping at Lake, uh, Lake Mead this weekend. Nice. Very cool. What, what's something on your list to get to, get, uh, to get to for people to see in the spring here in Las Vegas? Hoover Dam. <laughs> Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is a great one. I, it's something. No, Hoover Dam is really one of those things. Everyone should see that once in their life. It's oh an yeah. incredible. I'm always amazed every yeah. time I go. It's it's an incredible engineering marvel. Um, it's a lot easier to get to and kind of get around now that they don't let cars drive over it that often anymore. It's a if you go down inside the inside the dam, you get to see all the the turbines and generators and all that kind of stuff. It's really super cool and it's amazing they built something so massive. Uh, almost 100 years ago. It was the 1930s they built that. So it's a, it's really kind of a marvel of engineering. So one of the things I like to ask all of our guests before they go, you're all business owners, what is one piece of practical advice you can give to our audience about starting a business or having a business that you've, that you've learned since you've had your business? Have an accountability partner, especially if you're doing it alone. I know you guys are partners, so that's awesome. Um, having somebody to run your ideas by, um, having somebody to help keep you accountable is absolutely huge. And you want somebody that lifts you up, not is super negative. So you want somebody who is going to help you achieve your dreams and help make you the best business owner that you can be. Definitely. Wow. Okay. Uh, I would say a little bit more flexibility. The more flexible you are in your business, the more you, you are able to help your clients. <laughs> I don't know. Any advice? Take it slow. <laughs> uh, one step at a time. Yeah. One step at a time. Being flexible, one step at a time. Actually, it, it really is great advice because I think we all, when we started our businesses, we had this idea of the business is going to be this, and the clients are going to be this, and this is how I'm going to get them, and it's all going to like this is all, these are all the steps it's going to go, and and success is just at the end of these steps, and then and then you find out that step one didn't quite go as planned, and and you know mm -hmm. now now it's it's not steps in an order in a sequential order, but it's a lot of a lot of plates are spinning all at once. Mm -hmm. So so I think that's great advice as well as having an accountability partner, telling people what you're doing, and having them you know checking in with them and them say, weren't you going to do this other thing too? and so great great advice thank you so much all right so we're running out of time but i want each of you to tell us where our viewers can find you how they can get a hold of you and uh because i i want them all to get a hold of you and get some pictures taken and get some graphic design and web design done awesome well you can find us at aberlywest.com and aberlywest on all social medias facebook twitter and instagram phone number? Our office phone number is 702-920-6215. Nice. And I am at Casey Jade Photo on all social medias, www.caseyjadephoto.com. And if you'd like to text me or call me anytime, 702-856-9065. All right. You can give the phone numbers out. Very, very 20th century. Yeah. You got our digits. Now you don't have to worry about long distance calling. That's true. We have cell phones. That's true. That's true. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for watching us on Facebook Live as well. Uh, this was the first time we were trying this today, so there were there were a little bit of growing pain. So uh, to the, to Katie and Travis, thank you for watching. If you're still watching, I didn't acknowledge you when you came in. Uh, I meant to tell everyone if you've got questions, type them into Facebook Live. So I'll remember to do that next time. That's something I've learned from this episode. Speaking of when things don't go as planned in the in the order of the steps you planned. I'm Jason Leduc from Evil Genius Leadership for Consultants. Thank you for watching. Geeks are sexy today, and we'll see you next month. On on the fourth Friday of April.